Hi, today's video is gonna be about setting up a project in ARCHICAD. So the first things I do when I open ARCHICAD and I start working on a new project. So for now I'm gonna treat this as, a, as if I'm starting to work on a new house. Um, one of the first things I do is obviously set up the working units that you're gonna use in ARCHICAD. So I go to options, project preferences, working units. I like to work in meters, and I usually have three decimals. I find that that is the best option for me. I'm going to click OK. Also, I never use these elevations that are automatically generated within ARCHICAD, so I just select them and delete them. OK. So then what I do is set my story heights. That's one of the most important things that you have to do when you start working in ARCHICAD because if you don't set them at the very beginning it gets tricky to set them after you've drawn a few floors and you have elements that maybe appear in multiple floors so it's good to just set them from the very beginning. So you go to stories, right click and click on story settings for this particular house, let's say I'm going to have the ground floor and the second floor. So the ground floor, I usually, for houses, I usually do 2.8 meters. And for the second floor, 2.8 meters as well. And let's say the last story, I'm going to put the roof on. So for this I'm just going to do a bigger height, it's not going to be 5 meters high, but I usually like to leave a bigger height here. So what I do next is add um, floors in between, so stories in between my main floors, uh, where I usually do my slabs. So above the ground floor I'm going to insert a story and I'm going to say slabs over ground floor. And over the second floor, I'm gonna insert another one and say slabs over second floor. And over the ground floor, I'm gonna put 25 centimeters the thickness of the slabs. That's usually the total thickness for a, a slab and all of the rest of the stuff for floor heating and things like that. For the slab over the second floor, I'm gonna just leave. 20 centimeters. I accidentally changed the name, so slabs over second floor. And here at the height to next, I'm gonna input 20 centimeters. What I do next is go downward, so below the ground floor, I'm gonna insert below a story for elevations. Uh, depending on how many steps you want your a house to have so entry steps um, I usually have either three two or three steps if I do each step 15 centimeters let's say two steps in this case 20 uh, it will have 30 centimeters and below the elevations I'm gonna do the terrain I'm gonna do a story where I will have the mesh and everything like that the height to this I usually put five meters as well just to be safe and make sure I have enough even if I have a sloped terrain and stuff like that. Okay, so this is usually what I do with the stories. Click OK. Here we can see the stories that we just created. Okay, so the next step is let's say you want to uh, start drawing your walls. Let's draw one over here. And this is how it looks like. So the colors are not the ones I usually like to use and also the thickness of the walls and of the layers of the walls is not what I like. So the next thing I do is I go and select the pen set that I want to use within my project. So I go to options, element attributes, pens and colors. And the one I usually prefer is this ARCHICAD 9 pen set. I don't know why, it just has a bunch of colors that the other ones don't really have. So I click OK. 
this changed the appearance of the wall but it's still not as I would like it so what I'm gonna do is create my composite walls these are the ones that come in the ARCHICAD library but I'm gonna create custom ones depending on the structure that I wanna have my house to have so this house let's say it's gonna be ceramic block walls the structure of it so I'm gonna go to options element attributes composites I'm gonna take this generic wall shell and I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna call it outside wall 35 I'm gonna click OK uh, I'm gonna change this exterior layer and I'm gonna make it insulation plastic hard and I'm gonna change the thickness of it to 0 0.10 meters so 10 centimeters okay and also the color let's see what we have so far so if we click OK and we change this wall to have the structure that we created this is, this is what has changed let's see the true line weight of our lines so also, again the colors are still a bit off so I'm gonna go to options element attributes composites I'm gonna select the one that we were working on before and I'm just gonna change the different lines of the wall so you can see this line is for this part here the arrow points to this part, part here so I'm gonna change this to a thicker line so let's say and also black line let's say this one this is gonna be the wall end line I'm gonna put it black as well and this you can see is so this is the end line this is gonna be in between the two layers I'm gonna do the thick line as well and this is gonna be the end line for the insulation and the edge line for the insulation so here I'm gonna use if you uh, are hovering over a pen you can see the thickness of it so one is 0 0.25 millimeters for the main core of the wall this is what I want to have 0 0.25 millimeters but for the rest of it I want so for this and this I want them to be a little bit more thin so I'm gonna do this black one which is as you can see 0 0.13 millimeters if you look up there when I ho hover over it it's 0 0.13 and also this is gonna be 0 0.13 okay now it's starting to look a bit better but it's still the core is pink and here we have purple lines so what I'm gonna do is also again open the composite that we were working on before and we can see the materials generic structural and insulation plastic card we go to our element attributes building materials and I'm gonna go to generic structural and I'm gonna change here the color I'm gonna put it to gray and the fill type I'm gonna put foreground Oh, okay and before we close this I'm gonna also change the insulation plastic hard type of fill Here I'm gonna put bad insulation and I'm gonna do the lines to be gray and the fill orientation I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right now as it is so that you know what I'm talking so that you understand what I'm talking about later on I'm gonna click OK and as you can see the fills have changed according to what we did before but if I rotate this element we can see that the fill doesn't look as well as it did before because the fill orientation is according to the project origin if I change it to element origin the fill is gonna look okay in any position okay so this is let's this is the wall that we're going to use on the outside of our project let's create two more walls for the inside of the house so non-insulated and let's say two different thicknesses so i'm going to go to options element attributes composites i'm going to select that the one that we had before and i'm going to duplicate it and say inside wall 25 centimeters 
Okay, and I'm just gonna remove this skin. So I'm gonna select it and hit remove. And now we have a wall that the total thickness of it is 25 centimeters. Okay. So let's draw it out. This is how it looks like. And now let's do another thinner one. So element attributes, bend and co uh, composites, duplicate it inside wall 10 centimeters. And we're gonna just change the thickness to 10 centimeters. Okay, and we have to change it here. This is what we have. Okay, so let's delete this, these walls and let's say we're gonna start working on our plan, plan view. So if we draw the outside of our house, let's intersect these two. Uh, this is the inside wall 25. This is not what I wanted. I wanted the outside wall 33 centimeters. As you can see, the insulation is on the inside, which is not what we want. I'm going to click over here to the reference line location and I'm just going to flip it. And now it, the insulation is correctly on the outside. Another thing that I want to change is the location of the reference line. If you can see, now it goes on the outer edge of the structural part of the wall. I want it to go straight through the middle of it. So I'm just gonna select the walls, go to settings, and here for the reference li line position I'm gonna put 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 centimeters, so 0 0.125 meters. Okay, as now and you can as you can see the reference line goes through the middle of the core of the structural core of the wall. Okay, let's draw a few inside walls. So now I have the inside wall 25 centimeters selected. Let's change the reference line to this one as well. Because normally I would like to do to go like this, but it doesn't intersect properly with this. I want it to be straight through the middle of this wall as well. So I'm going to go to settings, 0 0.125 centimeters. Okay. Then let's draw, I don't know, this is just um, something that I'm drawing out just to show you some things. Let's say you want to um, put in a door. So if we select the door tool and we put it in, we see that one of the annoying things is that the colors are all not appropriate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit a pen set so that whenever I do so, let's say I select a different type of door, this one, the colors are the same. So basically for all of the doors, if you if you want to change the colors, you have to go select each one of them and then edit the lines. So if you go to a door, to the settings, all param parameters, and go to 2D representation, you have to do to change all of these lines. So 3, 23, 103, 19, so that it would look okay. But what I'm gonna do is I'm in the pen set, I'm gonna change the colors of these pens so that from now on I don't have to change it for each and every door. So I'm gonna X out of this. So options, element, attributes, pens and colors. Let's say the number three, this is the number three pen, added color. Let's do it black. 15 mil, uh, 0 0.15 millimeters seems about right. Here I'm going to edit the color as well, make it black, 0 0.15 millimeters. So this is number 3, number 23, and it was also number 19. So edit color, black, okay, 0 0.15 millimeters. Once you've made changes to a pan set, in order for them to be saved, you have to store your pan set. So you click on store as and just name it, I usually name it as my project, so I put 00, zero 
random okay and as you can see now the door look a lot better okay so these are basically the first things I do before starting to design a house in Archicad uh, uh, to be to recap a little bit what I do is set my working units then I set my story story heights then I go to element attributes and make the changes that I want to my building materials, to my composites and to my pens and colors. Of course as the project go goes on I'm gonna keep making a few more changes to the default library parts of Archicad but that's gonna be for another video maybe but this is a short video on, on how I usually set up my project before I start designing. Okay, I hope this helped you guys. Bye!